Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add the soft skin effect in Photoshop CS4. This should work on pretty, pretty much in any like Photoshop. Pro probably, I'm, I'm thinking it's only Photoshop CS2, but I may be corrected. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. So, um, in this, well, like face, I got this off photoshopstar.com. Um, this is just a, like, stock kind of photo. So, um, let's zoom in. To do that, we're gonna press Z, and that access our magnifying glass. So we can zoom in here, and as you can see, she has quite a bit of freckles. So, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out, and... We're going to duplicate this layer. So to do this, take this and drag it on your new layer icon. Um, we can turn this off, but we'll just leave it on. Um, so here, what we're gonna need to do is go to filter, blur, and then we're going to go to surface blur. And um, if you wanna just mess around with this, um, you don't want it too strong, and you can always, uh, and like, you can always reduce the opacity to reduce the effect later. So, I'm gonna have it about, uh, threshold. So, this is basically trial and error until you get it. Uh, that looks pretty good so far. So, if we zoom in, as you can see, the skin is pretty soft. But as you can see, her eyes and hair are pretty blurred too. So we're going to have to deal with that in a little bit. After this, we're also going to go to Filter, Blur, and Smart Blur. And this just, this is kind of like, you can do this if you want to. It's kind of like, you don't have to do this, but it's kind of recommended. And you really want this to be really soft and really soft. So it just ups your thing. And we're also going to do one more thing. We're going to add a brightness and contrast. So we're going to just up the contrast just a little bit. That's I like to do that and um, just mess around with that. So that's good. Okay, now we're going to have to get the eraser tool and just erase everywhere. So let's zoom in. So let's go back to the eraser tool and just start erasing where it is. You can use the bracket keys to up and down the size of the brush. So just go over her eyes, hair. Um, and then as you can see, her hair needs to be, so I'm gonna zoom out real quick and get a pretty big brush size. So I'll go back to the eraser, get a pretty big, that should be good. There we go. Just go over the hair. You really, you want this, like, to make it believable. You really want to erase, like, the hair because it just looks so much better. And also, you can do a couple more things I recommend to do, which would be to, let me just zoom into her lips real quick. Um, the thing I recommend to do is to either, here, I'll just, like, erase the lips because you want the shine in there. See that shine right there? You want that to be in there, and that looks really, uh, like, believable. So, um, that's about it. Um, you can also do one more thing, and that's to lower the saturate, or lower the opacity. So, um, let's just have it about 80, 80%. So, um, hopefully, hopefully you like that. And we can just merge these layers right now if you want to. It should be Command or Control E. So, here you can see the effect. I'll zoom in. Ready? This is, that's before and that's after. Um, so... I mean, it's really just opinions. Um, I personally like natural, um, but if it, if it were to be like advertising or something, you would definitely want to have that because it's just, I guess, a thing. I mean, it's totally your opinion. 
So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.